The series Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulls have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From the 42-yard line, first down. Bring him down at the 41. The halfback picks up a yard. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. He's got it out to his tight end. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Let's go! Red! Run, run, run. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. They came up short here trying to pick up the first down, but they still are in field goal range, and they're going to try to come up with three points. South Florida could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 3-0, USF. Excellent kick. They line up to kick this one away. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Here's the halfback. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. He's hit and taken down. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. but he can't shake the defense. Tackled for a loss. Loss.
Loss of one there for the halfback. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, first down. Setting up the play action. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 74 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle around the 22-yard line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 22. And he's level at the 16. Might not be able to get the pass off. And that one's incomplete. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. And they're coming after this punter. And this one is a beauty. And now the ball is loose. The defense scoops it up. First and 10, ball on the 42. Syracuse holds a four-point lead. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. at the 35-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Second and 15. Ball on the 40. and he's not short of the line of scrimmage.
He's coming. Check him. Check him. Let's go. Wide in. Check, check. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. They'll knock him down for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Syracuse is up four. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. This is the 10th play of this drive. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kicks away, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Syracuse got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Blue 14! Cut! He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 26. He's to the 40. He's tackled around the 43 yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Gotta be happy with the effort there by your tailback. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Little handoff, and they'll bring him down behind the line. No game. That makes it second and ten. down and they need to get it inside the 47. Three down, three down. Check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Wide 80. Zipped it out and that was almost picked off. Number eight breaks it up. That'll make it fourth and ten. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Syracuse is up a score. And he's hit immediately. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Throws it deep. Almost 
picked off. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. They bring the quarterback down. That makes it fair to me. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They come out in a goal line set. He fights forward to about the 23. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 23. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick pass. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Gets to about the 47-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he tackles him hard. The 39-yard line. That makes it third and 15. Receiver incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on the way. That brings us fourth and 15. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. Return for a gain of 13 yards. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Syracuse is up seven. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds at the 34. Bring him down at the 44. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. He makes his way to about the 48. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Taken down around the 49 yard line. That makes it 33. 
They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Steps out of bounds at the 47 yard line. That makes us fourth and inches. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. He fights forward to about the 46. forward to about the 43. Syracuse up seven points. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. Catches another tackle made around the 23 yard line. Passes it and it's picked out of the sky. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Gets to around the 42. That's a deep nine on the play. That'll make it second and inches. Yeah, left, man, left. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Set. Set. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's hit and taken down. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And he hits him hard at the 39. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Complete. He's got room. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. Syracuse is up by a touchdown. Ready, 
Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Fires out to his wideout. He's at midfield. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Syracuse is up a score. Fires putting out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. We've got second and goal. Eight yards out. three-yard line just a yard there nice grab there by the tailbacks to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards we played one quarter Syracuse leads 10-3 back to the action now here in the second quarter Syracuse can make this a two possession game with this field goal it's up and it splits the uprights they line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they get nice yardage on that run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They're packed in tight on the line. He'll get the call again. They go to the left for a nice game. That's a game four. Four down, four down. Check back, 11, check back, 11. Set, green 95. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That's a game in two. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Ready! Red, 68! Red, 68! They bring him down in the backfield. It all going deep. 
incomplete. Almost picked off. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That's good for him. At about the 47 yard line. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he is drilled. hit before he can go anywhere. That's a great tackle at the 16. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the 16-yard line, second down. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. That'll bring up third and long. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws in a hurry. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. What a display of pure speed. You know, any time this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 73-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 20 to three. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are gonna go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Pressured and brought down. That'll bring up second and eleven. It's second down and eleven to go. Ball on their own twenty four. Man, watch out here. And he's taken down around the 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Gets 
gets out to around the 45. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he just gets rid of it. He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. He steps out at the 22-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. That is a loss of three yards. That makes it third and eleven. From their own 19-yard line, it's third down. They bring him down. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Fourth and long here after the sack. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 45-yard line, second down. Quick strike, and he drops it. Going right, intercepted. Out of bounds, the 24-yard line. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. From their own 24-yard line, first down. Nice run to the outside. Play action. Zips it to the back. <laughs> Gets it.
gets out to around the nine. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They go to the screen here, and the halfbacks got it. Touchdown, Syracuse! This team has so many potent weapons, it's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven play, 77 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score is 27 3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Got it, and brought down immediately. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Open field, steps out of bounds at the 32-yard line. That makes it third and three. Tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check five, 11, check five, 11. Set. Lost the ball, football. They fall on it. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Tackle made at the 34. Four down, four down. Throws it deep. Nice catch on that one. Good tackle. He was the last line of the fence. How easy does that make it for a receiver? Run your route, put out your hands, and there's the ball. That is scary accuracy in a big game. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Number 18 was the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 22. Three down. I got number eight. Here we go. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. They come out in a five-wide set. There's a fumble. Scoops up the loose ball. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. 
These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he's tackled right away over the middle to his tailback. Now I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Second and five, ball on the 19-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's immediately tackled. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can ask for much more than that. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here we go. Right. 68. Right. Check, check. And he's going to come up with a sack. From their own 31-yard line, third down. Now he's flushed and they got it. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just been shot after shot all day long. Where's the offensive line? And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. This senior quarterback's put on a good show, Kirk. Well, I think you're seeing the value of having experienced under center. Here's a senior quarterback who's in sync with his wide receivers, making great decisions, and it all starts with him. And what's even more amazing is he's done all of this in the first half. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Tackle at the 45-yard line. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. He's under pressure. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Defensive hold. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Throws it in a hurry. And he shoved out of bounds at the 42. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. That makes it second and two. Here we go. Way 95. Way 95. And he sacked. That's sack number nine. They got him again. It's been quite a special game for this pass rushing defense. It's really hard to shake this corner. 
He has great pursuit and reflexes. You'll need to throw the ball perfectly to beat him. Fourth and nine. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Let's see if this offense can reestablish some confidence after being stopped on downs the last time they were out on the field. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run. They got the better of them that time. From their own 17-yard line, second down. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. seven-yard line. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. And that'll be three and out. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of 10 yards. That'll make it second and nine. So the sack makes this a second and long. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. It's going the other way. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game, and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. From their own 19-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Watch 17, watch 17. 34 is the Nice run up the middle. Quick pass, and he's taken down around the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Nice run to the left there. That's good for a game four yards. That makes it second and six. Three down, three down. Makes the catch and look out, and he's level at midfield. Just don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Got a 
his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's good for him. That brings us third and ten. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. to the 20. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He's under pressure. Catches it. He's immediately tackled behind the line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 19. Let's go! Green 88! Green 88! Out of bounds at about the 29 yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it 30 yards. at the 27. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He really got a hold of that one. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 27-3, Syracuse. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There's an old formation in football called the swinging gate. It's not supposed to apply to offensive line play, but that's pretty much what we've seen in the first half. The gate's been flying wide open for the past. That's not a loving term, huh? The no. offensive linemen probably won't like you very much for saying that. Um, well, then they need to block somebody. <laughs> they, they need to do a better job, that's for sure. And, you know, listen, you get a beat on somebody, you start beating them like that, you start getting in their head a little bit, it now becomes an offensive coordinator's deal. You better keep a tight end over that guy. You better, you better use him back to chip. You better call some max protections because right now, what you're doing, trying to block guys one-on-one -on, -one on an island, it ain't working. You better find a new way to do it. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at about the 31. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The 
middle for a nice game. complete. He's got space to work. He's taken down at the 46. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. To that quickly. He's tackled at the 44 yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 44 yard line. And down he goes around the 46 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Down! Blue 14! Blue 14! Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 19. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Here we go! And they get the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure making this quarterback feel him and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating the nerves on the quarterback. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to midfield, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Two times, two times. That makes it seven and six. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Throws left. The running back's got it. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Right down at the 44, and the defense comes through. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. 
fires quick. Tipped. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Steps up and goes down. one will fall incomplete. And I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, they were taken off the field after not converting on a fourth down. Get the football back. Let's see if they can reestablish that confidence. That brings up second and 13. From their own 24-yard line, second down. It, but he can't shake the defense. Just throws this one away. This one is a beauty. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, check it down, or take off and run with it. Fires it out. And they make the stop at the 23. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Third and 11. Ball on the 23 yard line. Hey, check, check Mike 11. Check Mike 11. Pressure coming. And he's tackled at the 34. Second down, seven to go. Ball on the 38. Four down, four down. Green 88. Green 88. And he throws it away. He's on the run. At the 49 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 49. 
Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's immediately tackled. That's a game of two on the play. That'll make it second. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tackles him hard at the 31-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back, Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Steps up in the pocket, and he's taken down to the 33-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Stepping up. And he hits him hard at the 29. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. It's fourth down, so the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kicks up, and he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 27 to 6, Syracuse. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Bulls' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Ready. Run play and he'll lose yards. That makes it third and 15. Slings it. Brought down at the 36. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. Watch the motion. Watch the motion. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. That brings us fourth and three. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Going deep. And it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. 
Look at that strike. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. It's first and ten. Ball in their own 47. And he's going to be sacked. Can this offense do anything to slow down this pass run? I think they need to make some adjustments with their pass protection. Maybe allow the backs to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded back there. Five wide. Ready. Green on Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at about the 35. That makes it second and two. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. Gets out to about the 31. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Four down, four down. 34 is the fight. 34 is the fight. Ready. Red 18. Red 18. And he just gets rid of it. Kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 30 to 6, Syracuse. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. He might not be able to get the pass off. That's a great tackle. It's the 19-yard line. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Number 20, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. 
He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Tosses left, and down he goes, around the 46-yard line. Goes a laser across the middle. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at about the 31. That'll bring up second and three. Two. He's hit and taken down. From the 21 yard line. It's second down. Got a man, watch out here. What a play, and that is first and goal. Touchdown for the tight end. That's TD pass number three. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A nice eight-play, 50-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Syracuse coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Throws into a crowd, and this one's going the other way. Interception. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. You don't want to criticize a quarterback for trying to make something happen, but I'm not really sure who he thought he was throwing the ball to there. From the 42-yard line, first down. Syracuse up by a bunch. Two-yard loss for the halfback. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That'll make a third and 13. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got a man in and out of his hands. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. 
And he is drilled at the 37. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Let's go. Green 19. Green 19. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring a third and long. So the sack makes this third and very long. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Here we go. Motion, Green motion, 19. Motion, Green motion. 19. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. And this one is a beauty. Looking for the corner. He'll take it from the 18. Not a bad return. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. And this offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. Not only does that affect them in a negative way, but what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. Syracuse comes to the line holding that commanding lead. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 33-yard line, third down. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. He's at the 40, and he's hit immediately. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. Wait a second. Who, who's calling the plays here? You've got a huge lead and you're still throwing the football into coverage? What are you doing, trying to let the guy get back into the game? From the 30-yard line, it's first down. He's out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Intercepted. That's three down and one to go. Syracuse got a huge lead. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Under heavy pressure. Well, that was a big stop here early in the fourth quarter. They needed some of that earlier because this game is still out of hand. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Check, check back 11, check back 11. Here we go. Red, Hi. Throws, and it's incomplete. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. 
early in the fourth quarter, and this one we know is over. It's an opportunity for some subs to play on one side and maybe to play for pride on the other. He's pushed out of bounds at the 33-yard line. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 33. Syracuse up by a big margin. Let's go! And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Throws it away. <laughs> Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Throws complete, he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 24. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check Mike, 11, check Mike. Ready, green And he tackles him hard at the 16-yard line. passes for 100 yards. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He steps out at the 23. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. That'll bring up third and six. Quick pass. Big opening. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked down after a nice game. That makes it first and goal. First down. And they come to the line with a first and goal. And the goal line defense digging in here. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. And this play is number eight on the drive. Well, there 
are not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. He's got 100 yards in the game now. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 80-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. They line up to kick this one away. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Him down behind the line. That's a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 22 yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Loss of three yards. In the shotgun and five wide out. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down at the 29 yard line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He's on the run. Knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 49-yard line. He zips it out to the left. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Hand off to the right. Nice run there. That brings him second and five. And down he goes at the eight. Call it a game of one yard. That's the number third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back eleven, check back eleven. Hazard. Gets it again. This one's going nowhere. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's tackled at the one. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. He's got the corner. Touchdown, USF! 
base run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. He's in for the conversion. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. And they make the stop right around the 34. That brings up second and one. Pass and he's right there to knock it away. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Tackle made around the 40-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Get to that quickly. And they push him out at about the 29-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Gets it. He's in space. He's knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That makes it second and two. Ready! 180! Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. From the 19-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. From the 17 yard line. Third down. He's hit and taken down. Zips it to the back. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line.
It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. So the offense is going to go for two. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. And they won't get the two. A nine-play, 69-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Fires it out. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And he's level at the 22. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just been shot after shot all day long. Where's the offensive line? Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. Number 16. That makes it fourth and eight. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Uh, yards. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. the middle that's good enough to pick up the first down i don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry they bring him down in the backfield that'll bring up second and 11. it's second and 11. ball on their own 37. got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Game of two. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Four down, four down. 34's the mic, 34's the mic. He's coming. Check him, check him. Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion, motion. Set, set. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Number 33 was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 24 yard line, it's second down. Sack on the play. Third and twelve. Ball of the twenty-two. Backs 
got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down at the 37-yard line. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. It's for this reason that he is the most dynamic player on this field today. He can run the ball through you or around you, and on top of that, he's a magnificent weapon in the passing game. Quick throw out to the receiver. Makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. They'll bring him down at about the 45. Less than three minutes in the game. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Punt, open field, tackle right around the 40. We have two minutes left to play in this game. He's taken down at about the 33 yard line. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. It's second and ten. Ball on the 33. Gets nailed, and it's intercepted. And that interception, I think, is going to do it, partner. From their own 42-yard line. First down. A little over a minute in the game. Makes it to the 47. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Gets out to around the 38. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. South Florida will have one timeout remaining. Here's a run. That's a great tackle for the 38-yard line. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And he's hit immediately. Gets out to about the 25-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. 
Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. The Bulls have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing. But they can build to the future around his abilities for sure.